Hi guys, Seco45 here, here today with a video with Fall Master's most recent war that finished a few hours ago, actually, no, when I'm making this video, finished about 35 minutes ago, and we had a nice war, um, if we, uh, Paul probably would have three-starred this guy if he did not drop a heal spell in the middle of the grass, and, um, I actually was able to pull a two-star, so we could have had a 29-star war, but still, nonetheless, outstanding job, and hi Amanda. Got the kick from her. That's, um, if you gotta know who she is in the clan, can you not? That's her class name. Anyway, if you guys are curious. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's get into my first attack. I wasn't even attacked, so my first attack was, eh, it was alright. Let's see how it went, and let's see what went wrong, because I really have to analyze this attack. I want to see kind of what I did wrong. So I'm going to drop, do my 3 golem, 5 witch, 2 pekka thing I've been doing recently. So maybe I'll go back to my uh, old golem, go wipe. I don't really know, to be honest, guys. Um, so everything here seems to be starting off well. Uh, wall breaker's just a little bit of a miss, but that's okay. Going to break them in, dropping my witches, heroes, and then my pekka. That's usually what order I'm doing on the main. Drops a jump spell to break into both layers. I want to see what happens. So, gonna go into the core. Dragon, really nervous about the dragon. I'm gonna freeze. My guess is I'm gonna freeze that for all for that. Yes, that's a very nice... Man, that freeze was killer. Look at that freeze. Uh, I think the thing that really went wrong here is that I did not freeze that Inferno in time. So, unfortunately, I didn't freeze the queen either. That would have been better. Oh my god, I'm getting blown up by kicks. Now Mama's sending me kick messages. I'm getting blown up. Now it's lagging. Holy shit. Sorry, people. Um, you know, people do. I don't know. So my queen is locking on the tunnel. I see the single inferno. I'm going to cloak her right now just to make sure she can get as much damage done on the town hall as possible. So once she goes uncloaked, as you can see, she's going to barely get the town hall down. As you can see, that's why I cloaked her early to make sure that uh, I could still get it and unfortunately my witches kind of died out and I tried to pick off a few buildings but this guy really had his outside guarded well so I guess this was a better base design than I thought and he and I got 43% but all I know is I still got the loot and it's I did not fail so definitely not my best attack but I'm relatively new to that attack and and yeah but anyway I pull an awesome three star in the number two town hall nine gonna practice some of my back end loon stuff I was really tempted to try out um, two lightning on this air defense and bring more loons, but you know what? I didn't need to. But anyway, my army just looks so powerful. I actually accepted a level 4 golem. I always requested max golem, but I guess nobody gave it to me. So I just got level 4, and I said, uh, fuck it, it's a Town Hall 9. It's not going to be a big deal. I'm going to crush this base, most likely. So, yeah, I haven't gone two golems in a long time. I've really been going 3+. plus. So I drop in my, uh, like, 3... Three golems in total. Like, I sometimes bring two golems in my camp, but, you know, I'll have three. Only two golems in the alt. So, anyway, troops come out. I'm going to drop a poison spell. I usually don't drop them, so now I'm going to drop them on the CC when I go wipe. Um, for hogs, I recommend you doing that on the skeleton traps. But, anyway, unless you're, like, not worried about them. But yeah. So, yeah, bring in my double jump spell attack again. Really want that king. I'm Since that air defense is all the way on the other side, I'm going to start my back end loons already on this side. King's right there, so I'm going to start my loons here, and as you can see, now King is going to die, but that is alright. I should have, instead of placing those loons on that cannon, I should have placed, I should have paid attention to that wizard tower because it would have been nice to have an extra loon, but that is alright. It's not going imp to impact the ending, and as you can see, this raid is over. This was just an a, annihilation of this base. Going to open up that wall just... So the Pekkas can maybe get out. I don't know. Maybe I should have used that for my queen. But, well, we all know the queen used to be the ultimate wall breaker. So, yeah, my level 25 queen. I love her. She seems to be very good. She definitely had... She survived full health this war. Well, on this attack, in the sec first attack, she actually is the one who got the town hall. So definitely my queen's been had a good job this war, and I got a nice 100%. So hope you guys enjoyed tomorrow... 
Um, I might try to make, like, a little bit of a guide on my, uh, Go Wipe attacks, um, because, um, you know, I really want to help you guys out, because I've been watching some of your, some raids from Fall Masters, and I haven't seen many of your raids, but I see a lot of tunnel lates doing a technique that, you know, especially raging their golems with wall breakers is just, to me, that's very newbie, and I know you got the right idea, but you're not doing it right, and I have a technique that I use that can range my entire army with wall breakers that works. I will show you guys many some examples tomorrow. But anyway guys, that's if they allow that's if my voiceover doesn't lag. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I pretty pleased with my war except unfortunately I wasn't able to pull the second star on number one, but that is okay. No big deal. Really didn't impact the war. I still won and I still got the loot and that's what counts. But anyway guys Outstanding War for Fall Masters. Got plenty of good attacks, so I'll be showing you guys when I make that video. But anyway, see you guys very soon. Peace out.